it going guys, Edward St. Lauren and nothing. The Nothing Phone 2A. Now, if you told me describe a $349 phone, I'll probably say something cheap, something with a bad display, something that you just use as a form of communication, or something that you just give to your kids as a first phone. But when Nothing announced this and said it's gonna be $349, I said, shut the front door. So I received it and my God, Honestly, this is the most clean cut phone I have seen. Now, I always love nothing because of their clean aesthetic looks that they always come out with. Now, this may not be for everybody, this look, this transparency that you can see the back, but for me, it always called my attention. I always wanted the first phone, but I did some purchases before with other phones, so I didn't want to buy on another $600 phone. But honestly, I knocked myself in the head for this because I should have. Because as soon as I opened this and unboxed it, honestly, I was blown away. Now, not everything is great, but for $349, who's complaining? Who cares? Honestly, I guess the big drawback, and we'll get into this in the review, is going to be with the cameras. But if you're a photographer, you're going to make it work with any camera you have. Might not take the best photos, but they don't suck. They're actually, they're okay, they're pretty good. And honestly, to the naked eye, yeah, if you're seeing it from the phone, you know, you're just gonna be like, okay, well, it sucks, you know? But the quality of the audio, the music, uh, how fast the processor goes compared to its budget, I mean, for 349, honestly, it blows, it should be worth more, but shh, let's not say anything because then nothing is gonna jack the price up. But guys, let's get into this review. Uh, we'll do a breakdown of the whole phone. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Honestly, guys, that would help out the channel. And let's get into it. Let's begin with the price, $349. They do offer two variants. It's gonna be the milk, which I have here, and the black. Now, the frame of the phone is gonna be plastic, which makes it lightweight. Now, it has a charging port USB-C and a SIM tray, as well as the volume buttons on the side. The most famous thing for this phone is gonna be the transparent back. It does have a fingerprint reader, which you could open up your phone or by inserting the code that you choose or leaving it without a code. Now, one of the best things nothing is known for is some of their widgets. Here's the clean aesthetic weather app. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you could do one by default or the nothing. If you choose nothing, you have a bunch of black icons making almost every icon except the ones that are not available like the Duncan or the Sony headphones or the Visco. Now, if you wanna change it back to standard Android, just go ahead and hit default, which will create it back. Still gives it a clean cut look, running Android 14. Let's go through some of the specs. You're gonna receive a eight core second gen processor, 12 gigs of RAM. On the battery, you're gonna receive 5,000 milliamp and storage is gonna be 256 gig. Now the camera is gonna have a 32 megapixel for the front facing, and then the rear, you're gonna get a 50 megapixel. The battery. The 5000 milliamp is honestly lasting almost close to what it's saying. Now, I am scrolling through social media a lot, through Instagram, TikTok, X, YouTube, you name it, I'm scrolling, as well as keeping the phone in full brightness. Now, it's not lasting me the full two days as it claims, but again, maybe if I do some adjustments, it will last me that long time. Now, it does charge with a 45 watt, and charging times, I'll say close to an hour to get a full charge on the phone, which is honestly very good. Something pretty neat with the Nothing phone is gonna be the notification bars in the back. Now, if you're listening to music, a YouTube video, or if you're receiving messages, these lights light up in the back. Now, with this interface, you can set them up and see how you want them. If you only want one bar to light up or certain messages received, this bar will stay on if the phone is even turned backward. Now, here's where everything comes into play with the cameras. But before that, if you wanna choose the settings on it on the far right, you get to choose the settings on the cameras and do some adjusting. Also the video to shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. And you could do the HDR, a couple settings that they have here. I'm gonna show you some footages that I took. 
Now, again, this is all raw. I am not editing or anything on this, so I'm sure with a few edits, you can make these videos seem a little bit better. Overall, the image quality is not bad. You still could do good edits on it, and honestly, these photos will come out very sharp. Now with connectivity, as far as texting and communicating, I've been receiving good service. Now sometimes my 5G does disappear, but overall, I don't know if that's something with AT&T. I do see a couple Reddits that say something about this. Hopefully it fixes up with the next software. Again, guys, this is my review of the Nothing Phone 2. It is amazing, and I would probably encourage anybody that's looking for a budget phone to pick this up. You will not be disappointed. Till next time.